De Sarde, what can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders. And now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, De Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. Alas, even if I wanted to, I couldn't send you my men. They don't trust you enough to follow you and fight on land. Could there be a way to make them change their mind? Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Noughts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. Very well. I will do my best. Even though time is running out. I expect nothing less of you. See you later, De Sarde. Captain Reuben? Aye, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. And I'm sure you know my companion. Vasco? Oh, do not worry. The seahorse is in good hands. I'm sure, Reuben. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba. A committed volunteer from Teleme. Now, she only joined us a short time ago. But did you want to know anything else? What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first. Very willing. Almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself. And did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Well, you can understand my concern, but you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. Ultimately, your strong suspicion stems from the fact that she's sea-given. A recent sea-given. She did not join us as a child. But you know how rare volunteers are, especially from Teleme. Did you want to know anything else? Do you know what information she may have sent? I don't know exactly what you know about our navigation methods. Let's say that magic does not have much to do with it. I see. Well, of course she knows that too. She saw some of our machines on board. And by searching through my papers, 
she could get even more sensitive information. And did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. And did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. Captain! Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. No, I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Captain, delighted to see you again. We've missed you. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal, even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers... We never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Hello. You need something? I'm looking for a naught. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? Do you like it on Tifridi? It's not as nice as our isle, but it's far better than the continent. Here at least we can breathe, without smelling a corpse round every corner. And the coast is beautiful. And you know, the taverns aren't so bad. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. This does not help it much. The girl has changed her attitude. I agree. Maybe she had good reason for it. Lost at cards. Party. Homesick. Why not? We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Hey, you are guests here. Behave appropriately. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see our tough call? You don't know who you're messing with. They're totally drunk. I doubt we can make them see sense. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, 
He thinks we'll allow that to happen. On guard, sir! <laughs> on guard! Bit of poison on my boot. And let's go! What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. Hello, Your Excellency. Hey, look at that. <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. Change your tone, soldier. You're speaking to the legate of the congregation. Oh, my apologies, Captain. I didn't know. How may I help you? We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the nought, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages 
And from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. It's suspicious, but it doesn't reveal any secrets or who uses it. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. We can hide in these bushes and wait for someone to come. Perfect. We have a great view of the box from here. So, shall we wait here? That's it. Suspect in sight. Follow him.
Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us! I... thought I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Do you realize that you are suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait! I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Alba means white to Sarde, but it's a little unsubstantial. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Nords, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. Go find Fernando. Do you remember him? He should be able to inform us. Yes, I remember Fernando. Let's go and see him.
Good day, Desade. How can I help you? We're looking for a young nought named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? We're looking for a young nought named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. Your Excellency, Captain Vascon, what fair wind brings you here? We're looking for a young nought who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father, who wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving, and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she'd better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. You say she was fleeing her father? Yes, that's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Tuleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz, if he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern, so maybe that's where you'll find him. I must leave you. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. I'm fine. Good day.
Let's get rid of these money bags. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I have a few questions for you. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba? What a stupid name. Her real name is Clara. And yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some Inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Telemi. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. I'll leave you, sir. A missionary camp near a village whose name begins with Wench. Could it be Wenchavie, the village of Katasak? We know there were missionaries in the area. That's it. Let's go. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sarday, what can I do for you? 
Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the natives' main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. You expect us to participate in a combined attack to protect an insular sanctuary. I hope you realize that for me to accept, I would have to be insane. Or have full trust in you. Are you implying that you may change your mind? If you accept to deal with the problem I entrusted you with, then you would at least have a chance. And what if I simply reminded you that you owe me a debt? You surprised me, Desade. I wouldn't have thought you were so guileful. But you were taught well. <sighs> Since you leave me no choice, fine. My men will fight by your side. But I hope that my debt will then be repaid once and for all. Of course, Your Eminence. Thank you. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. <laughs>